Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Ferguson. Today we're going to be working on skills unit 10 lesson 18. And by the end of the lesson today, you should be able to read the tricky words, read single syllable words with the E, A, I, and O spellings, point and read from left to right, read the gift with purpose and understanding, and answer questions about the story, as well as draw a picture with a caption about the story that we read. So before we get started, we are going to practice reading our tricky words. So let's say them together. All, I, no, look, says, she, was, here, a, so, once, word, down, are, when, three, little, there, were, the, we, blue, there, out, which, they, yellow, why, two, one, where, Two said from B what me he excellent job with those tricky words, boys and girls. Keep up the good work. All right, so now we see the O sound on our screen. We practiced this word, the sound already. So we're going to practice it again today, okay? So let's say the O sound together three times. Are you ready? O, O, O. Nice job. So now what I want you to do is repeat these words after me. All of these words begin with the O sound. You ready? Open. Oak. Only own ocean good and now repeat after me again these words have the o sound in the middle you ready bone road boat goat tone good i'm hearing lots of o sounds in those words now remember that O is a vowel sound, okay? O is a vowel sound. So we are going to practice spelling and writing with the O sound. The spelling is similar to the spellings that you've learned for the A sound and the I sound. So if we take a look here, we see the letter O, a space, and then the E at the end. The O and the E work together to make the O sound, okay? When writing a word, you will fill in the space between the O and the E with a letter for a sound that comes after the O sound. So don't worry, we are going to practice more of this today, okay? So let's look at this word. You may think that this word is sounding out, out like er, ah, d. Eh, but we cannot forget that the O and the E work together as a team to make the O sound, okay? So we would say er, old, road, okay? Road. So let's practice it again with some more words. How about we spell the word hope? Hope. What would the first sound in hope be? 
That's right. Now, what would be the next sound in hope? Good. Oh, that's right. Oh. Now, what would the next sound in hope be? Very good. And don't forget to tag on that E at the end because the O and the E work together to make the O sound. So our word is hope. Nice job. Now we're gonna practice spelling some more words with the O sound in it, okay? So what I want you to do is take out a piece of paper and a pencil to practice. And don't worry, you can pause the video so you can go grab your paper and your pencil and then you can push play when you're ready. All right, so the first word we're going to try to spell together is nope. Nope. What's the first sound in nope? Write it down. Good. Mm. What's the next sound in nope? Very good. Oh, then what is the next sound? P Very good. And then what do we have to tag on the end? That's right, the E, because the O and the E work together to make the O sound. Now we spell the word nope. Let's try another word. Let's spell nose, nose. What's the first sound in nose? That's right, mm, good job. Now what's the next sound in nose? Very good, oh, all right, and what's the next sound? Very good, and don't forget to tag on what letter at the end? That's right, the E, why do we have to put that there? Very good, because the O and the E work together to make the O sound. So we wrote the word nose, very good. All right, let's try another word, poke, poke. Write the first sound down in poke. Very good. P. What's the next sound in poke? That's right, oh, and what's the next sound? Very good. And then we write the letter E at the end because the O and the E work together as a team to make one sound, the O sound. Let's try one more word. Let's write the word vote. Write down the first sound in vote. Very good, the V. What's the next sound in vote? You're right, oh, nice job. And what's the next sound in vote? T excellent work. And then we end it with the letter E. Nice job because the O and the E work together as a team and they make the O sound. Nice work, boys and girls, kiss your brains. Excellent job. Okay, so today we're going to read the story, The Gift. And here we see the front cover of our Scott book. This is the front cover. Here is the title page. And now we see the table of contents. The table of contents tells us all of the titles of the Scott stories and what page number they start on. So today we are reading The Gift. If we follow our finger across the dots, we'll see that The Gift starts on page number 28. All right, a vocabulary word in this story that I wanna teach you guys is cash. Can you say cash? 
Good, cash. And cash is money. If I wanted to use the word cash in a sentence, I may say, I got cash from the bank. Lots of people put their cash in the bank. All right, a saying and phrase in this story is on sale. So when we say something is on sale, it's a way of saying that the price to buy something has gone down. So if I wanted to use on sale in a sentence, I may say, when the games went on sale, Jimmy bought six of them. All right, the gift. So I'm going to read the story first, but I want you to take your pointer finger and follow along with me as I read. The gift. Scott and Meg's mom is named Liz. She stops off at Hope's dress shop. Hope, Liz says, I need a doll's dress. The dress on Meg's doll has a bunch of holes in it. Well, says Hope, here's a dress. It's a doll size and it's on sale. Remember, on sale means the price has gone down. This is just what I need, says Liz. It will fit Meg's doll and Meg likes green. Hope drops the dress in a bag. Liz hands Hope cash. Remember, cash means money. Hope hands the bag to Liz. Hope is glad she has made a sale. Liz is glad as well. She has a gift to take home to Meg. Such a nice story, isn't it? All right, now it's your turn to read. I want you to get those pointer fingers back out and I want you to read with me. Let's start up here with the title. You ready? The Gift. Scott and Meg's mom is named Liz. She stops off at Hope's dress shop. Hope, Liz says, I need a doll's dress. The dress on Meg's doll has a bunch of holes in it. Well, says Hope, here's a dress. It's a doll's size and it's on sale. Excellent reading so far. Let's keep going. This is just what I need, says Liz. It will fit Meg's doll and Meg likes green. Hope drops the dress in a bag. Liz hands Hope cash. Hope hands the bag to Liz. Hope is glad. She has made a sale. Liz is glad as well. She has a gift to take home to Meg. Great reading. Pat yourselves on the back. Excellent job. Now it's time to answer some questions about the story. And remember, use complete sentences when answering. What does Liz buy for Meg? What does Liz buy for Meg? That's right. Liz buys a new doll's dress. Where does she buy it? Hmm, do you remember where she bought it? Very good. She buys it at Hope's Dress Shop. What color is the dress? Hmm. 
Do you remember what color the dress was? Very good. The dress is green. What? Set, our hope says that the dress is on sale. What does that mean? What does it mean that the dress is on sale? Excellent. On sale means that the price has gone down. Very good. All right, great job with those comprehension questions, boys and girls. Now it's time to work in our Skills 10 workbook. And today we're going to be working on activity pages 18.1 and 18.2. So if we turn to 18.1, we are going to see a word box and some sentences with blanks in the middle. Our job is to read the sentence and fill in the blank with the correct word. So how about we read the words in the word box before we read the sentences, just to figure out what the words say. Remember, the O and the E work together to make the O sound. The A and the E work together to make the A sound. And the I and the E work together to make the I sound. So let's go back to our first word. Our first word is hope, hope. The next word is made, made. And our last word is time, time. All right, now that we know what those words are, let's read the sentences to fill in the blanks. It is blank to get in bed. What word would go here? It is hope to get in bed? No. It is made to get in bed? No. It is time to get in bed? Yes, time works here. So we're gonna write time on the line and then we're going to cross it off because we used that word already. Go ahead and fill in that blank and pause the video when you need to. For number two, it says, we blank a sweet cake. Would it be, we hope a sweet cake? No. What about we made a sweet cake? Yes, very good. We made a sweet cake. So go ahead and fill in that blank. We made a sweet cake. And for number three, oh, don't forget to cross off the word made. For number three, I blank dad will let me get a dog. Our last word is hope. I hope dad will let me get a dog. So go ahead and fill in that blank. When we're done with this page, we are going to flip the page over and do the back. We have more words in our word box. Let's read these words. B -o -n bone, s e, c, and b -er oak, broke. Bone, c, broke are new words. So let's read number four. The glass fell and blank. What word would go here? That's right broke the glass fell and broke right broke on the line and crossed it off because we used it already number five stan gave the dog a blank what word would go here that's right bone stan gave the dog a bone so write bone on the line and then cross it off because we've used it already and for number six, when will we blank him next? It's a question. We're going to fill in the blank with our last word, C. When will we see him next? When we're done with this page, we are going to turn to activity page 18.2. We have some questions to answer. Let's read number one together. What is the name of the shop 
that Liz went to? Was it Hope's doll shop, Hope's hat shop, or Hope's dress shop? That's right, Hope's dress shop. So you're just gonna color in that little circle next to Hope's dress shop. For the next page, we have to write a sentence. We have to answer this question. The question says, let's read it together. What did Liz get Meg? Hmm, do you remember what Liz got Meg? That's right, Liz got Meg a doll's dress. So you're going to go ahead and write that sentence on the line. Don't forget, sentences start with an uppercase letter and they end in a period. Liz got Meg a doll's dress. Push pause on the video if you need time to copy the sentence. Next for number three, it says, why was Hope glad? Why was she glad? Do you remember why she was glad? That's right, Hope made a sale. She was glad because she made a sale. So on the line, we're going to write, Hope made a sale. And finally, on this page, we are going to draw a picture from any part of the story that you want and then write a caption to go along with your picture. So for me, I chose to do how Hope made her sale with Meg. So I have the picture here and underneath I put Hope made a sale. I started my sentence with an uppercase letter and ended it with a period. And when you're done with your worksheets, I want you to upload them to your dojo portfolio so your teacher can see all of the hard work that you did today. Great job today, everyone. Keep up the good work. I am so, so proud of you.